SportbikeWrench.com is the exclusive sponsor of OnTheThrottle.tv. Visit SportbikeWrench.com to find the parts you see used by the pros in OTT videos. Number 15, latest motors racing, Steve Rapp. Steve, eight thousandths of a second to get second place in the first race this weekend. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel I feel good and bad. I feel good that it was so close, but I'm, I'm bummed because it was so close that I didn't win. So uh, mixed feelings, but, you know, I'm happy uh, to finish second with these guys. I mean, you know, people, I, like I said, we're a, a five- or six-person team going up against a 20-person team that's been in business for 25 years. So, you know, you can't be disappointed with what we've accomplished on uh, with such a small team and a small budget. So I'm happy. Now, the vantage point from up here didn't look so great as far as weather and conditions go. Uh, what were the track conditions out there like? Were there anything changes, lots of rain? Not lots of rain, just enough to where you couldn't... Uh, you know, but like you said, parts of the track was dry, fairly dry, and then parts of the track were really slippery, but you couldn't really see the water, so you didn't know. It was, I mean, it was like you're riding blind because, you know, you'd come into a corner one lap and it'd be super slippery, and then the next lap it'd be fine. So you were, it was just guessing, and I think everyone was riding at about 90%, just to give in a little bit of uh, factor for if you did hit a wet spot, you could kind of try to save it. So it was tough, like they said, those are some of the toughest conditions you can ever race in anywhere. Um, so. Not an easy podium by any means. A tight pack throughout the entire race. Those top four riders were just it was back and forth. Great, great racing. How do you feel about that? I feel good. I mean, you know, uh, the last two years for me have been uh, <laughs> interesting as far as, uh, you know, my career going from team and small teams and this and that. So I feel great. You know, we've accomplished a lot. Even if we didn't win, we've done, you know, we're on the podium again. And uh, the season started off well at Daytona with the podium, and we've had some success in between. So, uh yeah, I'm really happy. Any adjustments going into tomorrow's race? Not sure. I mean, I was kind of going to use this race as a test for tomorrow, but with the conditions the way they were, it was, uh, I can't say I got a really good feel for what it needed. So probably, uh, hopefully it's dry. And then if we can get a practice in the morning, I can try a few things and then see if we need something for the race. Now, I have to ask, as a former Jordan uh, Suzuki rider, we heard a little tweet over here that uh, maybe you were talking to Michael sometime today. Any uh, any news on what he had to say? Oh, no, we were just, he was just congratulating me. He, uh, he, uh, you know, I rode with him for two years, and we, we spent some time together, and he's just a, you know, great supporter of our sport, and we need all the help we can get. So, uh, you know, having him here and uh, all his friends and uh, all the sponsors he brings, it's great for the sport. Well, great. Thanks so much for talking with us, and good luck tomorrow as well. Thank you.